this one here. So this is number three on page 68. You have two circles of radius 10 centimeters are drawn so their, cent so their centers are 12 centimeters apart. The two points of intersection determine a common chord, find the length of this chord. Okay, so I'm just going to try to draw this. I know my circles aren't always the best, but we will do it anyways. It could be kind of like a Venn diagram, right? Ooh, that was bad. And then we have another one. I'm not sure if I could do shapes in this. I probably could, but... Okay, so now we have... Let's see, the radius here are 10. This is kind of close to what it should look like. So the distance between the centers is how far apart? 12. So that right there is 12. But I'll also talk about this common chord, which goes there. So right here we have 12. OK. And then we also have that the radius, the radius of these two circles, are 10. Where do you think we should draw the radius in order to solve anything with these common chords? Yes, Hunter. What's that? Yeah, I would draw this radius. Something like there. You know, you don't have to necessarily draw them, all of them, because there's going to be some up top, too. And I'll go ahead and draw that. Okay, what do you know about that angle where the chord and that distance between the two centers meets? It's got to be a right angle, right? The whole goal is to find the length of that chord. So let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. All right. So now we have that these radius, the radii, are both 10. What are you thinking about that distance between the center points and where the chord intersect? What's that? Yeah, it should make sense that since these are overlapping here and these are a certain distance apart, it should make sense that this is a bisects that distance from the center points. And if you think about it, we constructed a long time ago we constructed perpendicular bisectors. Imagine if we did a perpendicular bisector between this center point and this center point. We draw this line. We draw a circle like this above and below, have them intersect above and below, and then drew that. That's kind of the proof that that definitely is a right angle, and it bisects. So we know that these are equal. So if those are equal, we have 6 and 6. So let's go ahead and write that in there. Which means, how long is this segment from the intersection down to the edge of the chord? What's that? Eight. eight. How'd you get that so fast? Six, eight, ten, right triangle. Okay, it's a triple. It's a triple of a three, four, five. It's a multiple of a three, four, five. So now we have eight and eight. So now the chord length is? Right. So your shared chord equals 16. And was that in centimeters? I think it was. Go centimeters. Questions on that one? Yes? Because it told you in the question that the radius of the circles is 10. So remember, when we draw this radius, it could go anywhere to the edge of the circle. Just You should make it to create a triangle. That will give you the best chance of figuring out, uh, you know, use your trig and your Pythagorean theorem.